Do you want to say hi? Okay. <laughs> I'm probably gonna leave that in. Hey everyone! Uh, welcome back to Grey Matter. So this week we're doing something special. I have just received my very first Silky from Art of Wigs and I'm really excited about it and I've had it for like three days now, but I've been waiting to open it so that I could do an unboxing and a little first impressions for everyone. So I'm gonna go get it and get some scissors and we're gonna take a look at this wig. Okay, so got my wig. <laughs> Don't look at my address. And I have scissors and we're gonna open it. As always, we're shipping. It's in a nice padded envelope. It shipped well. Their stuff has always shipped really well. I've never been worried about the state of my things when they arrive. Oh, looks like I don't even need the scissors. Goodbye. Okay, I'm so excited. Got my shipping whatever. So this is gonna be an Aon in Honey, which is the sister color to what was formerly Platinum Blonde and is now labeled Fairy Blonde. So like a white platinum. It's for Supergirl for C2E2. Let's go. Oh, she's long. Ooh, she's longer than I thought she was. Dang, ooh. So very first impression, this wig is packed differently than their standard wigs are. And I was wondering why that envelope seemed so big because when I got my classic Luthien for Sumia, the box was like, it was like a little bitty box. This was packed in a larger container and I couldn't figure out why. It's because they're packed straight. Like you can see that the top is in a bag, but the bottom is not. It's really interesting. It's kind of like a bouquet of wig. Like, thank you, thank you. And I, the color seemed perfect, so. Cool, all right, let's open this up. I'm interested to see if there's actually a significant texture difference because I love Arda, but their classic wigs tangle kind of easy. Ooh, ooh, this wig is really soft. All right, let's get her out. Ooh, this is really nice. This is really nice. It's still really thick too, which was another thing that I was a little concerned about because I love the thickness of Arda wigs. As you can see, still very thick, very pretty. The ends are in great condition. So the color is very similar to the traditional platinum in that it's a mix of golden yellow, platinum blonde, and like white like almost white platinum blonde fibers, but it blends really nicely I'm in the light of my living room window right now and it looks just beautiful. Like it looks like natural, like how platinum blonde hair would look if it came out of someone's head. Took out the little fake head. Ooh, okay, so now I can get a better look at it. The bangs are really nice. <laughs> They're like just the right length for what I need. Oh, the tag is pink. <laughs> That's always a bonus for me. A little pink tag. A lot of hair in this wig for her inside out. There are a lot of wefts in here. This is a really thick wig. I think it might be because now that I'm looking, there's less hair on the wefts than there is in classics, but I think that contributes to the fact that this wig seems like it would not tangle no matter what I did to it. So let's see, this is the front. She's got little blunt bangs. Just finger comb right through this. Just about that long. Not blunt cut bottom, but straight straight bottom. It's pretty. I'm gonna go put it on and then we'll come back and talk about how it looks. We're back! And I have all So first impressions having put it on. The cap size is really comfortable but I feel like that's a constant for Arda. I've never had a problem with their wigs being too small. It feels really nice. When I put it on, put my head in the cap and then secure it, I'm always scared because with long Arda's it always just like rats immediately and I have to then like go through it and whatever. It did not tangle and it doesn't want to tangle now. Whenever the hairs get tangled, I can just, I can work through it with my fingers like with little to no resistance. It's, it's wonderful. The bangs are a little long, but that's okay because I'm going to trim them. Please excuse my very dark brows with this very light blonde wig. <laughs> I really like it though and I feel like it moves much more naturally than the other ones do. Let me see if I can get Yes, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. The top is a little bit weird, but I think it just it's just it's just straight out of the back wig. It just needs a little bit of styling. So it's comfortable, it's the right color. Um, it's really soft, it's really comfortable. I've said it's comfortable like three times. And I feel like it's a little bit lighter than other long wigs I've had on. I feel like it's just not weighing as much. It's probably because it's not, this isn't a length I've had before. Yeah, this is great. This is perfect. This is exactly what I needed and I will be wearing it at C2E2. So if you wanna see it in person, come find me at C2E2. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Uh, I so appreciate that anyone watches this at all. So if you're interested in seeing any more, you can subscribe below and get new content every Friday. You can find all of us on Facebook at facebook.com slash artheta. You can find me on Twitter at Grey Cosplay, Grey with an E, cosplay spelled the way it's usually spelled. You can find Arda Wigs at arda-wigs.com. Is it .com, come on? 
Can you check? Hang on, wait, I have my thing right here. I'll put a link to Arden Wigs in the description below. They're fantastic, you should buy from them. This is, was not and is not a paid review. I just really like their wigs and I'm really excited about this one. So until next time, thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye.